Thanks, guys. This is a Fox News alert from Washington, where we are now hearing reports that Al Qaeda could be used using the chaos in Libya to get its hands on some serious weapons. Welcome to America Live, everyone. On Tuesday, I'm Megan Kelly. The issue came up a little more than an hour ago during a briefing on the battle in Libya. A top U.S. military commander was asked about reports that Al Qaeda had grabbed some surface-to-air missiles from a Qaddafi stockpile. Weapons capable of bringing down military or commercial aircraft. Jennifer Griffin was monitoring that briefing and joins us live now from the Pentagon. Jennifer. Hi, Megan. Well, first, Susan Rice just told Jenna Lee on Fox News that no decision has been made to arm the rebel forces in Libya. But she also said the U.N. Security Council resolution does not prohibit or preclude providing arms to those rebels. With regards to those reports um, of uh, Al Qaeda elements getting their hands on surface to air missiles. That came during a question from Republican Kelly Iote uh, during a Senate Armed Services Committee hearing. Admiral James Stavridis, the Supreme Allied Commander of NATO, um, said he'd like to brief that in a quote classified discussion. Here's what he also said about the opposition. The intelligence that I'm receiving at this point uh, makes me feel that the the leadership that I'm seeing are uh, responsible. Uh, men and women who are struggling against Colonel Gaddafi. Uh, we have seen flickers in the intelligence of potential uh, Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah. We've seen different things. But at this point, um, I don't have uh, detail uh, sufficient to, to, to say that, that there's a significant Al-Qaeda presence or any other terrorist presence in and among these folks. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Susan Rice raised eyebrows this morning when she appeared on ABC's Good Morning America and appeared to be suggesting the U.S. was considering a request to arm the rebel opposition. Some members of the coalition are pushing for this, but there are still open questions about who the opposition is. I asked a Pentagon official just that yesterday. Uh, we're not talking with the, uh, with the opposition. Um, uh, we have, uh, we would like a much better understanding of the opposition. We don't have it. Um, so yes, it does matter to us, and we're trying to fill in those, those gaps, knowledge gaps. Those gaps include questions about towns in eastern Libya, which have a history of anti-American activity and have served as recruiting zones for al-Qaeda suicide bombers in Iraq, towns such as Darna near Benghazi. Back in April 2008, a massive intelligence find in northwest Iraq, the Sinjar Papers, they were known as, showed 19 percent of the suicide bombers in Iraq came from the town of Darna in Libya. Uh, Newsweek, in fact, did a cover story on this in April of 2008. And eight, focusing on Darna and the, the uh, recruitment by al-Qaeda of suicide bombers in the Libyan town. We've asked the State Department about it and to been told that they are not doing interviews on uh, the issue of the opposition at this point in time. Megan? All right, Jennifer.